And we, we coach our guys, listen, if, if you're going to live on your money, live on 50% of it. That's your business bills, that's your personal bills. Well, Matt, it's not enough. Good. Make more money. Teams from sports. <laughs> So celebrate a win or a loss for 24 hours, or mourn a loss for 24 hours. You will celebrate tomorrow night. You celebrate all the way till Sunday morning, afternoon. You just get back in the hustle. Yeah. Sheena and I literally did not take a day off outside of company events and trips. Like we didn't take a personal day off for three years. It took us six months to make 50K. <laughs> and then after that, we went from 50K, eight months, nine months, we made 100K. And then 14 months to 250. 17, 18 months, we make half a mil. And then the next year, 27 months to 750. And then 36 months with the company, and then a mil. But we just kept our head down. Patrick breaks down our numbers. We've got a business analyst. Here's Patrick's philosophy. His favorite movie, uh, Moneyball, Billy Bean. So Billy Bean, young statistician says, okay, Billy, you need to draft players based on on-base percentage, based on ERAs, based on stolen bases, boom. Even though they didn't win the, 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 the World Series, Theo Epstein took that to the, that philosophy of predictive analytics. He took that to the Boston Red Sox, and they started drafting players based on predictive analytics. Not necessarily who's faster, who's stronger, but who's on paper showing the numbers on a consistent basis. They won two championships, and then Chicago recruits him. And he says, listen, five years we'll have a championship. And guess what happened in the fifth year? Like straight up vision and use the same predictive analytics to build the Chicago Cubs that had not win a World Series in 108 years. What Pastry has done, we've hired a business analyst and all he does with all the MDs, he puts all of our numbers through predictive analytics. That's crazy. Scary. <laughs> he loves crunching our numbers. By predicting certain things and he calls it your no matter what number. So for example, if somebody makes 10,000 a month and the next month they make three, four, the predictive analytics say that guy got lucky. Because his no matter what number is three grand a month. If a guy makes 10,000 a month, 15,000 a month, 20,000 a month, his no matter what number is 10,000 a month. So he's really at $10,000 a month. So if there's something I'm paranoid about, it's a paranoia of, listen, I got a $30,000 Rolex in this hand and power of broke in this hand. What do you think motivates me? That's it. I'm looking at this all the time. Power broke, power whole shit. So this is what happened. When our money comes in, Sheena automatically transfers 100% out to another account so I don't see it. And I see the account. <laughs> <laughs> so it messes, it messes with me. Because back in the day, you used to carry cash all the time. Today, you don't carry cash. You can swipe, swipe, swipe. Next, you know, I didn't, I didn't did I buy that? I, I, I did buy that. <laughs> but if you had cash, you would, you would, know, you would know right away. And we, we coach our guys, listen, if, if you're going to live on your money, live on 50% of it. That's your business bills, that's your personal bills. Well, man, it's not enough. Good. Make more money. Because the other 50% you want to tuck away for opportunities. We've been in four different offices three, three consecutive years. And each office has been bigger than the last office. So how do we do that? Because we get money tucked away. And every time moving to a bigger office, you need more furniture. We, we have better furniture at the office than we do at our house. My TV at my house, my flat screen TV at my house, the top third, I don't know what happened to it, but it's all dark. Because <laughs> you know what? That TV in my house doesn't make, them, make me no money. But if that happened in my office, 100%, I'd replace that in a heartbeat. Why? Because that TV at the office makes me money. Two ways I see that. Number one, you guys are licensed to offer products that prevent that loss ever from happening again. I saw that in 01. And I saw that in 08, 09. So very rarely does somebody ever get involved in the industry, in our industry, where they see two, three recessions happening in 10 years. And that's why in 01, when I first saw it happen, I got turned on to index, index products. And when they told me you don't need a securities license, I was like, what? You can get the upside of the market, but none of the downside risk? Sign me up. 08 hit. My mother became a client of my uh, 01. Next recession hit. Everybody's losing average 49%, 51%. Mom, how much did you lose? She goes, oh my gosh, nothing. I did not lose anything. How? <laughs> it's guarantees. None, none of our clients, psh, index products, fixed products, online and, 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 and videos. It's, it's been what has protected our clients. 
I've been doing that, doing this now for 20 years, and it's been the only product that's been able to save our clients. And a lot of people don't know about it. You know who freaks out then when the next, next recession hits? Real estate investors. Because immediately the valuation of the property goes down. Commercial real estate, how many malls shut down during the recession? How many neighborhoods got boarded up? How many families had to move all back in together because of the recession? Our business was started in the middle of recession, and our business thrives through a recession.